3D is everywhere, with more and more of our lives interacting with technology, TVs, games consoles, computers, mobiles and tablets, we are constantly in the presence of 3D. But what actually is it? 3D doesn't mean the old red and blue glasses of the 80s or the new cool spec stereoscopic films. 3D refers to the creation of computer generated imagery or CGI. So where is 3D used? 3D or CGI is used in a vast array of industries. Within film, both in the form of totally CGI movies or through visual effects like characters or backgrounds. With advertising, TV idents or title sequences, mobile apps, PCs and games consoles all contain imagery that has been created on a computer. Designers for cars and architects can get 3D visualisations of what their designs could look like in real life from all angles before they're made and that can go one stage further with digitally created objects being turned into a physical model with 3D printing. 3D imagery can be created many different ways. 3D modelling, used for producing the models needed for film, TV, games or product design. 3D animation uses those 3D models to create animated visuals. 3D sculpting gives you the ability to mould and sculpt objects out of a variety of forms, much like using clay or sculpting in real life. Ever wonder how magical superpowers are created? Or how buildings fold in on themselves? Visual Effects uses 3D modelling and animation to produce realistic looking worlds, objects or effects on the big or little screen. Motion graphics is exactly what it says, graphics in motion. So rather than animated objects, 3D motion graphics is more about animated visuals that tend to be putting forward information. Like this animation! 3D work usually goes through a standard workflow. This is known as the production pipeline. Nothing comes into 3D without an idea. This might be a design for a product or an idea for an animation. Initial drawings are created and finalised. 3D can be a lengthy process, so you don't want to be producing things that aren't necessary. Before animating, you need to make sure it's going to work. A storyboard gives a visual representation of the final animation in picture format, and an animatic puts that storyboard together, so you can see how your animation will look and what might need changing. Your 3D models are modelled, sculpted or scanned into your 3D software. Materials textures and surfaces are added to your models. Colour, reflection and transparency all add realism to your work. Adding lighting and shadows, ensuring your scene is lit properly can make all the difference to your images. Character acting, camera movement, visual effects and motion graphics are produced to give life to your work through keyframes. These are set points in your animation that tell your 3D objects what to do. Once your animation is complete, the computer needs to finalise your work. This process is called rendering. The computer processes every frame and exports it as an animation. Or, in games, you export your models and animations into your games engine. Scene editing, colour correction, compositing, credits are all added in post-production, allowing your final animations to be exactly how you want. So, there you have it. 3D is one of the most versatile and visually stimulating industries out there, so whichever industry you want to use, happy animating.